So the first thing you wanna do before you mount your teeth is you wanna take your extracted teeth or your plastic teeth and measure it from the tip of the crown to all the way towards the apex. And make sure you write down that number um, because that'll come in handy when you're actually doing your root canals. In order to mount your teeth, you're gonna need a few things. You need your actual physical extracted teeth, your sextants, you need this apex putty, and then you also need your fixing gel. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna first choose which sextant you're gonna be using here. Um, so it's whichever one is gonna match whichever tooth you're doing, which in this case is going to be this one because we're doing a mandibular premolar. What you'll do is you'll take out your apex putty, kind of scrape off some of this, and it kind of has like a consistency of like Play-Doh, I would say. What you're gonna do is you're going to fill this hole where you're gonna be uh, mounting the tooth in with this apex putty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So it should look something like this, that I like to fill it pretty much all the way up with the apex putty and make sure it's all nice and smooth and make sure it's fully condensed in there because if there are voids, it will show up in the radiograph. So from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your extracted tooth and then you're just gonna place it into the uh, apex putty, kind of try to center it a little bit and just slowly push it down like this. Sometimes when the roots are longer, it can be more difficult to get it all the way down, but try to set the occlusal plane similar to the adjacent teeth. The important thing for this is you put it in once and then you just leave it because if you start pulling it out and adjusting it more, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cause voids in there. And you can see that it extruded a little bit of material kind of all around. So I'm gonna keep a finger on here and then kind of clean up all the way around. So now that you have it all smoothed out, um, and kind of up to that surface, you need to put the fixing gel over it. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna assemble this with these tips and be very careful with this because this is difficult to come by. You're just gonna extrude a little bit just like you normally would. It kind of comes out in this pink material, make sure it's all mixed. And then you're gonna come through here and then you're just gonna put a small layer over the top of the fixing of the apex putty. It kind of just goes everywhere but your goal is just to create a barrier that will harden and dry. And what that will allow it to do is that it'll just make sure that your tooth stays in place while you're actually working on it. Perfect, just like that. So you can see the entire surface is covered and what you need to do then is you can kind of clean this up a little bit, but you need to let this sit and it will set over about probably 30 to 45 minutes. So that's why it's really important that you do these before you come to lab, uh, because if you do it right when you get to lab, it'll take a while for it all to set. And then there is your completed mounted tooth and you are ready to practice your root canals on them.